didn't really know I was any different, probably until I started school. And, you know, maybe in school, maybe the other kids were celebrating different holidays. Um, you know, their parents didn't speak the language that my parents did. Um, so that's when I started to realize that, you know, I was a little bit different than the other kids in school. Me as a parent, I was always very active with my kids, did all the, the PTAs and, you know, my, whenever my kids had activities, I was always there at the sporting events and um, volunteering, whereas I think my mom didn't do any of that only because she didn't know. Um, she couldn't speak the language, so she never really um, made friends with my friend's parents because she, there was a language barrier there. That's what my parents knew. They just didn't know how things were over here because they weren't brought up here. Um, and they were very strict with certain things, um, like going out and dating, you know, I couldn't, um, you know, my friends would be going out to a movie at midnight and I couldn't even ask my parents if I could go out. It wasn't even a yes or no question, I just never asked. So, you know, my friends would be going out to parties and, and doing things and I would kind of just be home. Most of the times I was babysitting, <laughs> you know, and that's Your just... Your siblings. Yeah, I would yeah. be babysitting my, um, you know, my younger sisters. and. Um, but I was okay with it. That's just the way I was brought up, and I didn't, you know, I didn't make a big deal out of it. Um, when I met my husband, I was very young. Um, I met him just out of, just as soon as I finished high school, right after graduation. So I kind of missed that whole college stage of going out and partying and stuff because, you know, at that point we were engaged and we were just doing our, our own thing. So I don't feel like I, you know, I missed any of that, but. I knew that my parents would, ever, would never allow me to do any of that stuff.